Ms. Ames. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you're torn between the two men standing in court today because the defendant, Mr. Patton, raised you your entire life believing he was your dad. Yes, Your Honor. But now Mr. Garcia is suing to prove he is your biological father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Garcia, you say you searched for your daughter for more than 25 years and today you say the DNA results will prove to Mr. Patton that Ms. Ames is your daughter. Yes, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Patton, you state that the only a year ago, yes. after raising your daughter and paying more than $40,000 in child support, you were informed that Mr. Garcia was claiming Ms. Ames is his daughter. Yes, Your Honor. Let me start with you, Mr. Garcia. Take me back to one year ago. A year ago, I was in Jersey visiting my family, and I was really looking for her on Facebook, wanting to find her so we can reconnect. Because I always called and I asked, I always asked about her, and I was really looking for a heavy. We found each other on Facebook last year, and we met at my mother's house and reunited, and we started talking from there. Ms. Ames, when you got this friend exchange, yes. what did you feel? Like I needed some resolution to it. Um, take you back. My mother died when I was 13 years old. Never told me that there was a possibility of another man being my father whatsoever. When I was 21 years old, another relative of mine decided to tell me, well, there's a possibility that your dad isn't your dad, that another man is your father. So the name that they gave me, I searched for for years. I couldn't find him. Well, come to find out, they had gave me the wrong name. So when he friend requested, I looked at his picture and I felt the instant connection because I looked just like Mr. Garcia. I looked just like his family. And so I sent him a friend request and when I did, he says, do you know who I am? And I'm like, I've heard that there's a possibility you're my dad. And he's like, I wanna meet you. I'm here, I'm in New Jersey. And so we met. I was nine months pregnant. What happened at that meeting? There was an instant connection between the two of us, instantly. And we went out to my mother's graveyard because he didn't know anything of my mother passing because he was so far away. And he was supposed to go back to Florida. And he stayed an extra two weeks because he wanted to meet my daughter. Wow. I'm torn. Like, I have two kids, and I want my kids to know who their grandparents are. Yeah. My mother's not around. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want my kids growing up accidentally dating their family members because <laughs> we don't know the truth. That's and very, that, no, that's a very real concern. Yes, and like, my son will be 18 years old, and I don't want him to be dating one of his cousins and not know it. So I, I need some resolution. And you, you feel like you're 100% certain you're her father. Yes, I was there for her at birth. I was, I, when she was born, she, I used to rock her to sleep in my knees. Mm -hmm. I stayed with her family. I stayed with her, her family, her grandmother. I stayed with them for like 10 years, working, working, and taking care of my responsibility, which was her. And so, so and her you were there at her birth? Yes. And you've paid child support for her as well? As, yes, yes. You were Over. responsible for child support for how many years? 18. 18 years you paid it? Yes. And you submitted to the court that you've paid your entire child support debt off? Yes, I have the documentation. It's paid in full? Yes, I have it right here, Your Honor. I'd like to see that. Mr. John Patton, state of New Jersey, paid. No open cases. More than $40,000. Yes, Your Honor. Jerome, we don't see this a lot. Not at all. I commend you for this, yes. sir. Yes, so, Mr. Garcia, while Mr. Patton was paying child support and rocking her to sleep and in her life, you were believing you were her father this whole time? You thought you had a daughter somewhere out there? Yes, Your Honor. From the time she was born, I had always believed she was my daughter. 
And so, Ms. Ames, did you tell your father, the man you believe is your father your whole life, that's what you thought, Mr. Patton, did you tell him about the meeting when you met up with Mr. Garcia? No, no. Me and my father, Mr. Patton, we've had a rocky relationship. We had our ups and downs. He was around and then there's sometimes he wasn't like, but I remember when I was younger and we got into an argument and he made a statement to me to go find my, my real dad. So that statement, well, maybe there's a reason why he said this to me. So when her mother was pregnant, take me back to this. We had met at my prom. My sister had introduced us and we started dating. She broke up with me not too long after she got pregnant. A month later, she told me she was pregnant and she made me believe that Mr. Patton was the father instead of me. But I had always believed in my heart that I was the father. When you said made you believe. Because the timeline of when she told me she was pregnant was after we were together. But after Ms. James was born, the timeline didn't add up. She had given you a certain yes. date or how many months she was or whatever. Yes. And then when Ms. Ames was actually born, in your mind, you said to yourself, what she told me didn't add up. This could be my baby. That's correct. Ms. Ames, although you said your relationship with Mr. Patton wasn't always that great, had some rocky moments, you grew up always believing he was your biological father. Is that sure, correct? Honor. Because my mother never told me no different. He's the man on my birth certificate. He walked, he was at my wedding. He signed my marriage certificate because he was there. No matter how our relationship was, he was the man who was there. Yeah. So, so you never connected any dots in your mind and said, oh, well, I don't get along with this man. There's a disconnect. He may not be my father. You truly just believe this is my father. We bump heads sometimes, but when I need him, he's there. That's what I believed. And as you look at Mr. Patton, do you see yourself at all? Just the light skin -ness, That, that's it. He's tall. I'm not that tall, but my mom was short. So I'm like, I never really paid that much attention to it. Like just the freckle things. I used to ask that when I was a kid. Where did I get freckles from? My mom ain't got no freckles. My dad ain't got no freckles. How did I get freckles on my face? I was a little kid. I wanted to know how I got freckles and y'all don't got freckles. So, Mr. Garcia, what was it after all these years? I, I, she's 30 years old now. What was this that prompted you to say, I'm gonna send this friend request? Your Honor, before social media, when I would call New Jersey and talk to my family, I always was trying to find her. So it's, it's not just started. I always had that passion that she was my daughter. And I always wanted her to know that. And I always wanted to know that for sure myself, because I always believed it. But on that day, you decided to make the move and, and, and reach right, out. Because I was in New Jersey and I wanted to find her while I was there before I went back to Florida. So I wanted to make sure we made a connection. And I was on Facebook heavy trying to make connection with her. The whole week I was in New Jersey with my sister. And when you were with your sister, were you telling your family, yes. I'm going to try to find my daughter right now? Yes, Your Honor. I told them. And I told them when I made connection with her. You know, and my sister, which was uh, who she was dating, who I met her mother through, was right there when I found her. You know? Really? Yes. And your sister was the person that was with you when you met Ms. Ames' mother years ago? Yes. You mentioned earlier you dated her mom in high school. Yes. Did you know anything about Mr. Patton? Because he seems to have been in her life consistently, very present and visible. Yes, he was there the whole time. He lived right down the street from her when we met. Did you know he was dating her mother, too? No, she said they were broken up at that time. But he was always there, you know, trying to get her back and giving me a hard time all the time, so. Well, yes, I caught them walking down the street one time. And I asked, what's going on with, you know, you and jo Joey? And she said nothing. We were just friends. She just, her mother told me, you know, she would, they were just friends. Mm -hmm. But I had, you know, it was suspicious that, you know, that they were dating or whatever, but. 
you felt a level of suspicion. Yes. And you knew what he looked like. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know his, I know his family, his sisters and... So when you think about the fact, Ms. Ames, that another man is here in court today suing to prove that he is, in fact, your biological father, how does that make you feel? Your Honor, I'm torn between the two because I now have a relationship with Mr. Garcia as well. I've been around his family. When we went on vacation to Florida, he came and spent the entire week with me and my husband and my daughter. And I, I have a connection with him as well, even not knowing him for as long as I haven't known him. There was an instant connection between us. So you see that he truly is making an effort. effort. Yes. And his, his ex told me that he had told her that he had a daughter in New Jersey and that my mom told him I wasn't his. But he always felt I was his daughter. In this last year after meeting Mr. Garcia, who have you been calling dad? Is Mr. Patton still your dad or do you believe... They're both, my, you? They're both my dad. But I'll work on building a relationship with Mr. Garcia because if he is my dad... We need that, that relationship. My kids need that relationship. But my kids will always know Mr. Patton as their grandpa as well. It, that's just the way it'll be, period. Mm -hmm. You talk about Mr. Patton and your relationship and sometimes it was rocky. And then with Mr. Garcia, you say you felt this instant connection. Is that feeling, that emotion, that connection you felt, is that what's driving you? Or is it truly other factors and everything combined. Are you feeling it, pulled it, because it, of the emotion of it all? I, I feel like I'm torn in between because deep down inside, I just, I need to know. I need the answers and I can't speculate on what my parents did 30 years ago because this is something they should have figured out 30 years ago. Yes. Yes. Period. You are most certainly correct. I can't, I can't say what they did and what they didn't do because I was a child. But I felt this is something that they should have handled then. There's no reason why. Somebody should have been telling me at 21 years old, well, your dad may not be your dad. I need to know for my children. Yes. Mr. Patton, as you stand here, hearing the testimony that's been presented today, are you still 100% certain? Yes, Your Honor. You are. Yes. Mr. Garcia, as you stood here today, hearing how this man has spent his life taking care of this young girl, child support paid at her wedding, with her family, at her birth, on her birth certificate, are you still 100% certain? Yes, I am. Because if I would have known, I would have been there. Two men are in this courtroom today 100% convinced they are your biological father. Yes, Your Honor. I think it's time for the results, Jerome. Yes. yes. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Garcia Ames versus Patton, pertaining to whether Mr. Garcia or Mr. Patton is the biological father of Tanira Ames, it has been determined by this court. Her biological father is Mr. Garcia. Are you okay, Ms. Ames? <laughs> you happy to finally know? Yes. I'm still her father, and I'm always gonna be her father. That's my thing. I don't want him to walk out of my life be because of these results. I don't think you have that to worry about at all. Would you like to go down and give your dads a hug? You got two. Oh, my dad. You always be my dad. 
<laughs> you can feel free to stand. Mr. Garcia, nicely done, sir. When I told her she could stay down there, she stood in between the both of you because she loves both of you. And when she stood in the center, you moved from your position and slid over to the center with her. And that body language and that movement says, I know why you're standing there and I will meet you halfway. And I love that. Mr. Patton, feel free to slide on in too, because you still have your daughter. Go stand next to her. She needs that. The truth is something else. <laughs> Mr. Lloyd, you are in court today to prove that you are the biological father of the defendant's one-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Courtney Marie Grimes. You claim the defendant led you to believe that you were the father only to have a bomb dropped on you that another man was her dad. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Rayleigh, you say you are 100% sure that Mr. Lloyd is not Courtney's biological father and you will prove your case in court today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Well, we'll meet that other man in just a moment, but first, let's start from the beginning. I want to understand the nature of this relationship. So you, you were in a relationship with somebody else when you met Mr. Lloyd or were you in a relationship with Mr. Lloyd and met somebody else? I had just recently got out of a relationship when I had met Mr. Lloyd. Uh, of course, I was ending my last relationship with, Ms. with the other party. All right, so then you had finished the other relationship or you were still kind of seeing this other guy? We had, like, just ended. It wasn't even a, a month apart or a week apart that me and him had ended. And we had started getting intimate right there. All right, so, Mr. Lloyd, at the time you were dating Ms. Rayleigh, did you feel like you were all... were in an exclusive relationship? At the time, I didn't. You know, as... Yeah, as it prolonged, I did start catching feelings for her. Actually, we moved together afterward. We you did? In. We moved in together. So you moved in together? Yes. When she tells you she's pregnant, she comes to you and says what exactly? We was actually sitting in her room, actually. We was talking. She started crying, said she was pregnant. I was excited, you know, this is my first child. So I was excited and I was willing to take up the responsibility to be in Courtney Grimes' life. I already had doubts. I knew of this guy, you know, so I already had doubts, doubts about it. So the third month, I take her, her mom out to eat and we, we just nipped it in the bud like, this your baby. It's like when she like three, four months pregnant. Do you remember this dinner meeting, Ms. Rayleigh? Yes, yes, Your Honor. And you all cleared the air and told Mr. Lloyd, there's no doubt you are the father. Yes, Your Honor. So why is it all of a sudden, three months, two months before the baby's born, you tell him he's not the father? Well, Your Honor, I was nine weeks pregnant when I found out I was pregnant. That's when the doubting and everything started. I said, well, nine weeks ago, I wasn't with Mr. Lloyd at all. I was with Mr. Grimes. It was around Super Bowl which was in February the 2nd, is the day that they trying to say I was conceiving between the 2nd and, I believe, the 6th. And I wasn't around Mr. Lloyd at the time that they had gave me my conceiving date. Excuse me, um, um, We was dating around the Super Bowl, too. You know what I'm saying? We was dating. So how far along into the pregnancy did she tell you that you're not the father? It was like like, the last four months. But the seven, eighth months, I left. I said, I'm done with it. Right, this is not my baby. I moved to Indiana. I just stayed down there for, like, a month, two. I get a phone call, and she like, I have doubts. I don't, I don't think Courtney... I think the baby was even born, actually. She was like, um, I don't see it in Curtis. A mother knows her, her baby. A mother knows, as she told me. That's what made me come back and try to continue on to be there for my daughter. So, when the baby was born, Ms. Rayleigh... Who was present? Um, Mr. Grimes was. Oh, because... Oh, excuse me. She didn't even tell me that he was present when he was born. She, from my knowledge, was well, nobody yeah, I, I there but the mother. He didn't need to be there if he's not the dad. So that's why Mr. Grimes... But what... Yeah. The, the dots I'm trying to connect are when you told him he was the father, he accepted he was the father, but you say that this window between Mr. Grimes and Mr. Lloyd is only a span of two to three weeks anyway, right? Three weeks. Three weeks. Or four. Yeah, three to four weeks. I didn't even know the baby got born. I had to find out off of Facebook. Mm. How old was Courtney when you first met her? Did you ever get to see her? Um, yes, I think I, I seen her 
think like the, the second or third week she was out the hospital. She let me see Courtney Grimes whenever I wanted to. She would give him his chance and still give me my chance too. But wait, you, she gave the baby Mr. Grimes' his last name. Yes, yeah. She gave him his last name. Actually, I'm the one who gave, came up with the name Courtney Marie. Actually, Mr. Grimes came up with the name. So wait, and... you sleeping with two different guys, but they both picked the same name. Wow. How awkward that sound. It, it... They both said Courtney. That's what we think is a good name. Yep. Way too much synergy here. <laughs> Actually, I think she did already have, she already had the baby. Me and Curtis Grimes had came to a conclusion and actually met up on Facebook and was trying to find out because she was still playing that it was my baby and still playing his baby. So we met up. Actually, we drove they up pulled to up them. on me. I was like, okay, so both of them asked me in the car together. They in the car together. I'm with another friend who's the daddy, Chantel. So I said, okay. Curtis, you're the sperm donor, and Mr. Lloyd is the one who be there for her, you know? And I, that, at the time, that's what the situation So, wait was. a minute. The two potential fathers get together. You all get together. Yeah, just... And correct. decide y'all gonna do a sting operation. <laughs> correct. Together. You all gonna yeah. track down Miss Rayleigh. Yeah. And you all gonna get down to the bottom of which one of us is this father. Because you feel like stop. she's playing both of you. And you say, Ms. Rayleigh, you were clear. You said, I Mr. Grimes... I gave what I asked for. Basically, you said you the biological father... And you told Mr. Lloyd, but you are basically the daddy. Because we say in this courtroom, it takes DNA to be a father, but it takes love to be a daddy. So you say Mr. Lloyd stepped up to be the daddy. He he be there for Courtney no matter what. He's always there. He's a good dad to her. So now you're here because you want Mr. Lloyd to know for certain that he's not the biological father. Correct, Your Honor. We here here to find out because she don't know 100%. That's why we're here. All right. Jerome, I want to talk to uh, Mr. Grimes. He's joining us from his hometown. Mr. Grimes, do you believe she's your biological child? I'm going to say yes. Then I got some doubts, too, though, at the same time. So you have doubts. Tell the court why you have doubts. Since Antia been pregnant, she's been playing both sides. One minute, Corey the daddy. Next minute, I'm the daddy. Corey about to spend some money on the baby. He the daddy. Like, we both still seeing her to this day, you know? So... You both still seeing her? We both still seeing Courtney. I mean, he... He go... He been to Memphis more than me. I have been to Memphis one time. He been down there three, four times. <laughs> but Shantia not telling me that. <laughs> so you saying this is supposedly your biological child with your last name, but this other man has been to see the child more than you? Man, I, I'm talking about... I got my whole family calling me like, why is it another man with your daughter on this page talking about daddy's baby? Like I said, I got doubts. I mean, she she look like she look like him. She look she got my nose. She look like both of us, you ask me, but that's what I said. <laughs> both of you are her mother. Both of y'all, both of y'all get on my nerves. <laughs> Who's paying child support to help support this baby? Neither one. I can't pay child support if I'm not on a birth certificate. Let me tell you, you can still... You, you don't have to but pay I child still, support. I still come out of pocket whatever, you, when, I, when I want to. Support is... It, it can be, of course, done through the state, but it also can just be done personally between the parents. I mean, I tell people, handle it through the living room so you don't have to handle it through the courtroom. So have you helped with this child? Yes, Your Honor. You have. Mr. Grimes, she has your last name. Have you been helping to support Courtney since she's been born? Man... I'm gonna tell you like I told Shantia. I told Shantia when Corey, Mr. Lloyd, got out of her life, I told her, give me blood, I give her baby love, basically. I'm tired of her playing both sides. I got six other kids that I gotta worry about. She's not finna keep playing with this kid. If Courtney minds, Courtney makes seven. How old are you, Mr. Grimes? 23. We just had a baby. We just had a baby together. That's the eighth one. Uh uh, uh uh. Now you all, uh uh. No, 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 no. Now, you all know. this. How many kids you have, Mr. Lloyd? This will be my first child. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I actually... I actually... I actually went and begged for my job back so I can support my daughter. This would be your first child? Yes, Your Honor. So this matters to you? Yes, Your Honor. But Ms. Rayleigh is, has maintained consistently throughout this hearing that you are not Courtney's biological father. But that still does not sway right. you because you feel like you are. 
It doesn't sway me because I was already persuaded of that that was my baby. A mother after knows. Court, after Courtney was born, did, did you she... call him back, Miss Rayleigh, and yeah. say the baby doesn't look yeah, like Mr. Brown? I never said that she doesn't look like him because I see it all the way. But, oh, she got pretty hair. That's my baby. I said, wait. Nah, don't say I got no hair. I got some good... Oh, oh my God. I'm Help me, saying, Lord. I got it ain't honest. about that. Hold on it now. Was... Wait, wait, wait. I'm not... Uh, hold on. I can't let you say something that ignorant. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We can't say that. Yeah. We can't say that. Nappy here. No, we're not even gonna say that. <laughs> because the truth is, as a, a, as a people, I th honestly, you gotta take that out your vocabulary. <laughs> and we can go one level deeper. The reason why this courtroom exists is to help ensure that children don't have to go without their father. So this ain't no joke to me, so don't come in here with no racial nonsense talking about baby's hair, because every piece of that child is beautiful. Yeah. And innocent. Yeah. Honestly. And, and, and whether her hair is fine or coarse or whatever it is, it is individually and uniquely hers. Given to her by God, and he don't make mistakes. So we're gonna correct that right now. I don't wanna ever hear you say that again. Um, Your Honor, can I say something? I hope it's intelligent. It is. It's very, it's very intelligent. <laughs> um, what gives me the reason that she is mine, is my mom tell me when I was little, when she used to change my diaper, I used to do this diaper dance. Okay. I used to be excited. Courtney does the same thing when you change her diaper. And um, I have a birthmark on my life, on my left side of my forehead as well as Courtney. That gave me a strong doubt that it is mine. So you strong feel break. like you... Listen, you feel like you have now, for 18 months, you've made trips to see this baby, you That's spend right. time with this beautiful little girl, and you look at her and you feel like there are similarities that confirm your belief that she's yours. Yes, Your Honor. This would be your first child. Yes, Your Honor. So this matters to you. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> so, Miss Rayleigh, you're saying you are certain that Mr. Grimes is her biological father? Yes, sir. Or are you saying that you have an, a younger child together as well, so you just believe? Yes, Your Honor. I don't know. I'll be back for that one, too, to be honest with you. And this is my first time hearing that one also. You have a doubt about the subsequent child as well, the paternity? Yes, ma'am. And that's what makes me upset about this whole situation, because they be trying to play me like... I'm just this bad person, this bad mother, and this bad, just bad, and I'm not. I had conversations way before I even turned seven months that he's not the father. I never told him that he wasn't the father at all. And to hear him say this in court today, he would never, ever speak to me again unless it's about our children, and that's it. It's no more going back and forth, because I have been going back and forth with these two for too long, and it's time for it to end. Either I'm gonna be one of them or neither one of them, and I want it to come out today, because I'm done with it. Absolutely done. I just want the truth to Keep be your gone. legs closed, you won't go through this. If you keep your penis in your pants, you won't have this problem either. Lord, Lord, Lord. You're right, but that's why I don't think she minds, to be honest with you. Well, listen. DNA would tell it all. Listen, listen. Everybody in here has a part to play in this. Because none of you protected yourselves. Y'all run around here having too many babies like you baby factories. I mean, Detroit is a factory town, but this is not the type. <laughs> He's a factory his own self. Hold on. I'm from Detroit. I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> Jerome, I'm ready for the result. Let, let's get the answer to this, because we got to figure out how we going to move forward. Amen. Y'all, 25, 25, 23. So, Mr. Lloyd, I just want to know from you. If... This is your biological child. Do you want to have a relationship with Ms. Rayleigh? If, if Courtney was mine, I'm going to go down there and be a full-time parent with my daughter and support her through the whole nine yards. And if she is not? Then I go on with my life. <laughs> on my life. The results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Lloyd versus Rayleigh, pertaining to whether Mr. Grimes or Mr. Lloyd is the father of one-year-old Courtney Rayleigh 
Grimes. It has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Lloyd. for y'all. Congratulations. But you're done. I knew it from the start. You're done, bro.